I feel like I might as well just be sitting like this, like yesterday, just simply because, I mean, I mean, come on, look what happened last night, you know? I mean, there's so much stuff I have to talk about, I'm kind of procrastinating on it, just simply because there's a lot to talk about. I mean, no, I mean, yeah, I'm still giving my low my high, my at the tightness, but I'm still going to be procrastinating. I'm, I think I'm procrastinating now, so I should stop doing that. So, um, my low, eh, just sort of dealing with stuff for my mom, just because of what happened on Tuesday. And some one guy who doesn't look like Eric Cartman, but he might as well be. He's definitely friends with that one guy who, who looks like Eric Carvin who said bad stuff about me that one time, but whatever. Uh, my high was honestly just talking to my dad sort of helped me get through a little bit, even though he really wasn't that much better either. And you know, I had the mass Singer. I was good. I just had to make it to last night and I did. And what I had to watch was just wonderful. And my act of kindness was, um, I actually did a few things for, um, my grandmother. So, that was, uh, well and good. Anyway, good morning and happy, uh, happy Thursday, everyone. You know, it's just, it's barely been around, nine hours and actually over nine hours and I still can't believe the season's already over like I'm shocked like really shocked I mean it just feels like only yesterday we just started the season and I'm actually looking at the dates right now because I have um because I actually have my computer literally right next to the camera and I'm looking from here. Watch. This is the computer mouse. I can actually use the mouse from here. Ooh. I know it really isn't that impressive in the way of in the way of technology today. But man, doing something like this is just plain fun sometimes, you know? This sort of turns your brain just turn your brain off and have a little bit of fun. But yes, we have a, a mass singer finale to talk about, don't we? So, uh it was actually kind of scary because, you know, I'm smart. You no, know, normally I'm a smart guy, and so I changed the channel to, you know, Fox for the Mass Singers on, and so I don't miss a thing, right? Unfortunately, and maybe some of you guys are aware of this, Fox is really always bad with its broadcasting. So I get the channel for, in my case, thirteen, and the screen is black. Like, the TV is clearly still on. All the other channels still work. It's just Fox, the screen, black. I'm like, I'm actually going to be missing the finale of The Mass Singer, aren't I? Luckily, though, 8 o'clock on the dot, we're back on. It was great. I mean, I kind of missed, like, the very beginning of it. Like, the very, very beginning, like, the opening seconds. But I didn't miss anything that was important. So... Right out of the bat, the mass singer is something that I've actually been looking, I've actually been kind of wanting to see for a long time. And that is, the finale actually began with last year's winner, Leanne Rimes, who was the son, last season's winner, because technically, technically season four ended in 2020, so I guess you want to call it last year, that worked. But I'm, that's uh, semantics. Basically, it starts with Leanne Ryan saying, how do I live? Which, which she, which she's saying it with, you know, the final three contestants, the chameleon, the black swan, the piglet. Needless to say, that is how you open a finale. And it kind of, I know I mentioned a while back, like, when the season ends, I talk about, like, a couple changes. I'll get to that in a minute. But after we got to, um, how do I live? Obviously, with Leanne Rimes there, she was the guest judge. So, needless to say, hearing her sing again was, I mean, it was Leanne Rimes. She practically ran away with the golden voice in the last season, so, 
Hearing her sing again was, <laughs> no pun intended, music to my ears. So with that said, we started with the chameleon did Gangster's Paradise by Coolio, which, not gonna lie, that's the first time I actually heard that song in like legit earnest. Obviously I didn't hear the entirety of the song, but you know, it was good. Then the Black Swan sang How Am I Supposed to Live Without You by Michael Bolton. Wonderful performance all together. And the Piglet did Faithfully by Journey. All three performances, all worthy of finals competition, of course. All of them worthy of winning the award. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, the chameleon shtick is... He can sing just okay. He is clearly a rapper. So, obviously the chameleon wanted to gain third place. Which, I mean, to make it as far as he did. Because usually when... When contestants on this show specialize in doing rap songs, they tend not to get as far as you would think. But getting to third place, that is, that takes high praise, my friend. So, the chameleon wound up being Wiz Khalifa. I want to say Khalifa, because of, you know, One Piece, but no, it's, uh, no, it's, uh, Wiz, Wiz Khalifa, which, you know, rapper, singer, songwriter, he's great. Obviously, congratulations to getting third place. You deserve all the credit in the world for that. And I actually kind of knew the community was going to get third place. I mean, that was a given. But honestly, I could not have told you who was going to win between the Black Swan and the Piglet. And it was funny, I was saying to myself, the Black Swan is obviously mostly black. And the Piglet, even though he's kind of wearing like, you know, later hosen yodeling hat outfit, you know, the pig is pink. Black and pink, and the genders of both people are the exact opposite of what you think they would be. Because, <laughs> you know, girls more associated with pink and guys are more associated with black, but, you know, here's reverse. So I immediately just, that popped in my head for some reason. But obviously a winner had to be crowned. And at the last second, I'm thinking, okay, I think the winner is going to be Piglet. I was right. I mean, uh, listen, you probably know this, you probably know this about me whenever I talk about this show. I hardly ever try and guess who's under the mask. I just listen for, listen to the great music and, you know, maybe I learn a little bit, if it's someone under the mask that I don't know who it is, maybe I can learn a little bit more about them, like via the clues and stuff, I suppose. Kind of like our hot ones, only, Thanks to the ambiguity of the masked singer, you don't really know. Actually, speaking of hot ones, there's a new episode of in there. <laughs> that's, that's something to look forward to later. But, um, yes, the Black Swan wound up being, uh, Jojo, who is a singer, a very good singer. Nicole was able to figure her out right away when he came to, like, the final guest. Oh, oh. Oh, excuse me. So, just for laughs, I decided to look her up, and actually, I'm just going to quickly look her up again. So, yeah, I can use the mouse mirror. And, oh, look, I use it again. Okay, so, yeah. I never really know how old some of these celebrities are. JoJo is quite literally, like, a week shy of being a year younger than I am. Like, I was born December 20th, 1989, she was born on December 20th, 1990, like, a week and a day. That's like, so, actually, let me do the math, because 1990 would have been just a regular year. 1989 would have been a regular year, 1990 would have been a regular year. So, 8 minus 365, so, I'm 357 days older than JoJo. I did not know that. <laughs> but, with that said... JoJo was great. I mean, back when a uh, Grandpa Monster, who was, um, you know, uh, Logan Paul, was it? I think. Hold on, find it. Yeah, Logan Paul, whatever. Like, he, his money was on the Black Swan to win it all, which he definitely knows how to pick a winner, just not the winner, I guess. 
But now when it comes to the winner, we have, of course, the Piglet, who... You know, I've heard jokes about this person over the years. I heard just some sort of mediocre things about this guy for a number of years. But honestly, I was sort of a fan of this guy. Because he has the exact first name as I do. It wound up being Nick Lachey. Which, if you know one thing about me, you know this. Like, you know what it was. I have a story to tell you. When I was, like, really little, there was, like, this one sort of game show, like, wh like, who, like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego was, like, a game show. Kind of like Jeopardy, like, format like Jeopardy, I guess. Only, you know, you didn't have to answer anything in the form of a question. Anyway, so, there was, like, one time, and keep on, this is, like, I was really, really little, by the way, where, like, there was a contestant of the same first name as I do, and my mom pointed out, like, hey, Nick, that's the same person as you. It's like, in her sort of like excited, sort of pandering baby, almost kind of lowest common denominator type voice or whatever. But it stuck with me. And so now if I hear anyone successful with my first name, you know, I immediately feel like I have to root for them. In some ways, that's why I'm not entirely mad about the Eagles winning that Super Bowl. Because Nick Foles was the MVP. But that's, that's not, that's not, uh, that's not here and there. It is Nick Lachey, former band member 90 Degrees, you know, actor, singer, you know, the whole nine yards. Naturally, this guy deserved a win. And, you know, I don't know what else to say. He now joins the great pantheon of great mass singer winners. Like Leanne Rhymes and um, Wayne Brady and T Pain. I'll be honest, I forget who the Night Angel was. After so, I mean, so much happens between, so many things happen, you know, in real time and while you're watching the show, you tend to forget who's who after they're unmasked. But the Night Angel obviously was the winner of season three. So, all in all, this was one heck of a season. And I really, literally I was hooked right away into how much I would enjoy this from the very beginning, as I mentioned, when it started off with, you know, last year, last season's winner, you know, Leanne Rhymes singing How Do I Live as a group with the community of the Black Swan and the Piglet. And I'm thinking, here's one thing that I would really like to see happen. I mean, I doubt it would ever happen, but it would be really cool if it did. Where, like, they don't have to be the winners of the Masked Singer, obviously. They could be, obviously, you know, former contestants. But I would really much like to see, like, like an episode where, maybe at the very least, you've had the quarterfinals or the semifinals, where the contestants do a duet with a former Masked Singer contestant. Think about it. like, wouldn't you like me? Like even singers like who aren't known for singing, like you know Bob Saget or um, you know Lonzo Ball, or you're like doing a duet with like one of those guys, or like Jesse McCartney. Oh, well, obviously he is a great singer. Actually, I, if I was on the Masked Singer, I had to do do I had to do a duet with anyone who wasn't aware of the Masked Singer. I go with Jesse McCartney. I've always been a fan of that guy. He's cool. Pretty sure he's like it. Plus, again, I'm always a fan of anyone who's in my peer group as well. So, well, I say peer group. I mean, you know, obviously we don't know each other as it probably should be. But I know of him, obviously, because of how famous he is. And, you know, that'd be really sweet. That'd be really cool if I did a duet with him on The Mass Singer. I mean, again, the, the guests would have no idea who um, is under the mask still. For sure. But it'd be really cool. Plus, again, it'd be hearing, it'd be great hearing some old mass singer favorites, you know, sing again. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you get a former mass singer contestant who was either one or was a really prominent like contestant on the show, like Adrian Bailon, for instance. You know, be a guest judge, and that's great. I'd love to see something like that. I love watching that stuff. But hearing them sing again. 
would just be, it'd be awesome. It, it just would be. And seeing them do a duet with a, a contestant mask singer while they still don't know who's under the mask, like, that'd be really cool. At least I think so. Just some, just some food for thought. Speaking of food for thought, we have a new episode of Hot Ones today with uh, Jack Harlow. Season 15 begins, baby! <laughs> when one, literally one season ends, another one opens. What can I tell you? That's life, I guess. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button. I, I just realized I say that's life, I guess, at the end of the video a lot lately. <laughs> I mean, I don't really mean to do that, just... This is sort of happens. Oh well. Can't do anything about it now. I'm not gonna say it again, don't worry. Like, share, share, and subscribe, and follow me on social media, on Twitter, and YouTube. I have a very amazing video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. And if you guys want to talk to channels, we'll be here to lend you all those back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.